All right, I'll be showing something about uh, this crystal I have here. It's uh, birefracting, and that's why it's cool. Um, I just have it in, so I'm experimenting a bit with it. I think we can think of some application for it, but I'm not sure yet, so I have to look around first. But anyway, I'll show you, it's quite cool. Um, so you can see, I've got all the lines here, but when I introduce the crystal, the lines shift. Then I turn it. Same thing with this. All right, so what happens is, um, if this is the crystal, there's a point here, one point goes there, uh, array of light, and they just uh, refract differently. And that's what happens, but the thing is, this is uh, uh, left polarized, and this is right polarized. Um, just as uh, you see in the, in, in the cinemas with 3D glasses. All right, the passive ones. I'll show you with this uh, polarization filter. It's a circular polarization filter. Um, so you've got lines here. Then I'll introduce the polar filter and then I'll start turning it. And you'll see what happens. the change, alright, um, and this counts for all the, the ways in which you can do it, it's like fairly straightforward actually. Anyway, then uh, I will introduce the laser pen to get just a, a bit more feeling for it, so this is the laser pen, alright, what happens is I'm just shining it on there and you'll actually see uh, three lights there. And then the question is, are there actually three lights? Because that's not really logical, since we've just seen that there are true refractions, and it's not tri-refracting. But if I'll lift it up, you'll see there are actually only two. If I turn it, then they'll turn with us. So not three, because what happens is you've got two, but since we're looking at it, that point uh, birefracts back again, so two makes three. And the middle point, um, is because of uh, inter uh, interferential, so the outer two points they make the middle point bigger. Because I'll try to show it in another fashion. I'll just turn the paper around to shine from the bottom, and now can you you can really see very well that there are actually two points, not three points. Um, and actually, it doesn't really matter how high. I'm, I'm not just going to get it up to like one meter or something. Uh, there. You see, we still just have the two points. And when you start looking through it, I'll just get it to the camera now. In just a second, get a good where the hell the camera is. Okay, so crap, you can't really see it very well. But, um, no, yeah, let's just take the pen. We see the pen now two times, I just hold it in the lens in front and when I get the circular polarizer again, which we can also see double of course, and I start turning it, let's see, and I turn it, it's a bit blurry because the crystal isn't perfect, but it's fair. So yeah, I think we can uh, think of some application for this, like a 3D thing, but I've been thinking about it for a long time and I can't come up with anything really so uh, but anything I uh, anyway I hope uh, you've got a better feeling for this now because I really had to order one in in order to get a good feeling for it um, all right well that's it